hi what's up everybody uh today is gonna be a special one if you are new to my channel you're welcome if you are already subscribed to my channel you're welcome as well don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit in today's video i'm gonna show you the unusual way to design uh jota i'm gonna show you the step by step on how to conquer this so without further ado let's step into it so this is the picture that we are going to be using so right now let's change the uh <coughs> pay to a5 which is the normal uh you go to a uh, rectangular tool to double click on that you automatically snap into the bed so right now we are going to design the basement in which we are going to put this picture so locate your uh, color dropper tool sample the color right here sample the color just like so wait a while then go over to the bird then paste can you see so our next step right now is to go over to what's it called interactive field 2 then you drag on the object just like so then you go over to the sub menu at the taskbar you can see this is you click on elliptical fountain 2 so automatically changes to that so right now what we are going to be doing next is to click on this white portion then you go over to click on color eyedropper to then you sample the color right here so automatically it comes in then can you see that so right now next step right now is to bring in this picture right now what we are going to be doing right now is to select the picture you go over to object then you locate power clip place inside frame you select that so it indicates an arrow asking you where to power clip it so then you click on this object right there so automatically snap into that then you hold alt key on your keyboard then you select the picture release the alt key then you adjust the picture just like so so right now what we are going to be doing right now is to type the uh what's it called the information so what we are going to be doing right now is to go over and type heavenly heavenly home call home call can you see that so then you type our name late Janet the Janet crown can you see so right now what next is to just you know type our age age on the five yes good so right now we are going to be doing right now is to just you know change the uh <coughs> the fonts let's use futurati then you hit ctrl k on your keyboard automatically it breaks to break the test into pieces can you see that so right now let's adjust this what we are going to be doing now is to this home call is gonna be be the biggest so right now go over to uh this place to change the font let's use hello paris good so right now we are going to be pasting it right in there change it to white then you reduce good so right now what we are going to be doing next is to change this to try jan go over and change it to try jan try jan it's okay then you reduce it's just like so paste this at the upper side of the uh, home call 
so it's gonna be small very small reduce that good so what you are do, going to do next is to double click on that highlight it Control A to highlight then you uh, press shift F3 and keyboard automatically dialog box pops up indicating you you know choose lowercase or uppercase but in this case we are going to use uppercase it's an uppercase then it's okay automatically change it the changes to our uh, uppercase can you see that capital or cap so right now we are going to just convert to curve the test then our next step right now is to power clip it into the object go over to power clip then locate place into frame so right now it's in there hold out key on the keyboard then select the uh, test then you hit on control put down your keyboard to send it to back so let's reduce the woman's uh, picture a bit can you see that good so right now next step right now is to uh, uh, change the uh, name of the woman so what we are going to be doing next is to you know change it to white so right now we are going to change this to trijan or true change the font to trijan then <coughs> you hit ctrl k to break it into pieces then you bring this down then we'll make the chain it a bit bigger so what we are going to be doing right now is go over out to there and change it to hello paris no 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 that's not good so let's leave it as you know that then we change this to try jan so right now what we are going to be doing right now is to bring this closer right here the lid then we would change this to see good so right now we are going to be doing is to hit on uh what's it called shift to then you drag this inward just like so to reduce the space in between that in between the test so right now next step right now is to go over to uh just create a line just like so then you change it to white good so right now make a copy of that to the other side just like so then select the two and group ctrl g then center it within the test can you see that so right now let's double click i like that then you hit on shift f3 let's make this uppercase good so right now make this select this then you make it uppercase as well it's okay good then you center it within each other good so right now what we are going to be doing is is to just you know we are going to just you know make the 70 let's hit ctrl k to break that into pieces then you make 75 a bit bigger then you eat on what is it called shape 2 to reduce the space in between this 7 and 5 can you see that good so right now let's reduce the year and the edge then try closer draw this closer as well good so right now select the whole thing group it and reduce it a bit good that's good so let's shift it down so in this case right now what we are going to do right now is to change uh what's it called the color of the edge into purple so i think that's a little bit dark what you are going to do is to make it lighter 
good so right now what we are going to be doing next is to just you know let's give it give this a shadow select the whole thing and group this then you go over to it on our shadow tool then you drag it on this one this particular one then you release automatically it give it a shadow then you go over to this to make the shadow a bit thicker can you see that spread that let's make this seven seven good so go back to this play make it on red so i could be visible good so right now go back to object then you look at break drop shadow apart automatically it breaks then you group it all up so <coughs> Make a copy of that shadow. Center that. Then you center back. Good. So select the whole thing. Center it within that. Good. So right now we are getting there. So what we are going to be doing next is to just, you know. We are going to be making the back of the jota so let's copy this to the other side then we go back to extract then delete this test right here so what you are going to be doing now is to just change this go over to uh what's it called mode then it on this So right now, go back to edit, then let's change that to one color, sample the color right here with the draw eyedropper to good. So right now, so let's eat okay, okay. So automatically changes to that color then let's go over to bitmap that okay good so let's power clip it inside then adjust let's go over to this place to <coughs> it on that then you select uniform transparency good reduce that a bit make it bigger then can you see the outcome of it so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification button in case i have something special to share and don't forget to do well to uh give this video a thumbs up and uh, so that other people can benefit from so see you some time thanks for following